years ago I put a brand new wheel on my grinder, turned it on, and when I turned the side to pick up the piece I had to grind, that wheel exploded. The grinder didn't sound any different, and I actually had my hand on the motor itself and didn't feel any vibrations, but all of a sudden the wheel just let go, so it must have had a crack. The ring test that we're going to show you here literally takes seconds to do, but it could save you a lot of grief. The cuts in this table saw blade are there in part to control expansion when the blade heats up, but they also control the ringing sound that you can get in a blade because they act like a crack and actually stop the sound from traveling around the blade. To do the ring test, I usually put a wooden dowel or wooden handle in my vise so I can hang the wheel on that. That allows me to keep both hands free while I'm doing a tapping so the wheel doesn't accidentally fall off. We don't need anything fancy to hang the wheel on. We just want to make sure that it's smaller than the hole in the center of the wheel. Imagine there's a center line on this wheel. We just want to tap it roughly 45 degrees to either side of that line. Then turn the wheel 180 degrees and repeat the test just to be sure. You can clearly hear the ring when we tap this wheel, so it doesn't look like it has a crack. Now that same stone, only this time with a crack. Notice how dead the sound is. There's no ring to it. No crack, with a crack. And here's the crack that's stopping those sound waves from radiating around the stone to produce the ring. Add one crack to it and that ring goes away completely and the sound is very dead. Sometimes the cracks aren't this obvious so you might have to look very closely. When you're in doubt, just get a new stone. It's a lot cheaper than a trip to the emergency room.